Wellies. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about pumpkin soup. I'm going to be using a Japanese pumpkin called kambocha. Kambocha is one of my favorite pumpkins out there. It differs from the regular American pumpkin that you would find during Halloween. Those pumpkins tend to be massive and are pretty decent for pumpkin pie. But Japanese kombucha pumpkins are smaller. They have a rind that is really soft, so you don't need to peel them. And the actual flesh of a kombucha pumpkin, when you cook it, it's really creamy. It has a beautiful silky mouth feel when you cook it right. These kombucha pumpkins have a ton of nutrients, a ton of fiber, and it's very, very heart healthy. I'm gonna show you my favorite kombucha pumpkin soup that I love to have on a rainy day or when you're sick. So the first task of a pumpkin, of any pumpkin, is to clean out its guts. The first cut of a pumpkin, you do need to be a little bit careful. Pumpkins are generally round in shape, so they tend to wobble on the cutting board. But once you get that first cut, it doesn't need to be down the center, but once you get the first cut, I did here, off to the side, I have to clean out all of the seeds all of the guts, but I like to save them and put them in my toaster oven because I've tried this before. Kombucha pumpkin seeds are delicious. I like to toss it with a little bit of olive oil, a little seasoning like cumin, Italian herbs, and that crispiness. If you've ever had pumpkin seeds after carving it during Halloween season, pumpkin seed chewing. It's really fun. <laughs> so here you can see I didn't peel the pumpkin. The skin is very, very thin and really it's edible. I like to prepare the kombucha pumpkin all at the same time. I like to use a portion of it for that recipe that I'm doing that moment and then save the rest in a plastic bag and put it in the freezer. And it cooks wonderfully from freezer to the baking sheet or the, uh, a future soup. For soups, I like to cut my kombucha into about one inch slices and the wonderful thing is they cook fairly quickly in under 10 minutes. If you've ever gone to Hot Pot, you can also order kombucha pumpkin and try it out there. Hot Pot, for those who don't know, is a communal soup eating meal. <laughs> it doesn't sound very impressive, but a communal soup gathering <laughs> where you put all the ingredients into a pot and you kind of fish them out you share with each other you can, if you can see your neighbor just finished the last his last dumpling on his plate you go and check if you're already looking for ingredients in the pot you go fishing for more ingredients and then you share you fill your plate you fill your tummy you laugh you joke you share all the ingredients in that communal hot pot. So previous to this idea of making kombucha pumpkin soup, I made a wonton video where I used pork filling and wonton wrappers from the grocery store and the boiled water from a couple of days of making pork dumpling, pork wontons. I had the water left over and it created this thick pork broth. 
and I'm using that water, that broth from the pork dumplings to cook my kombucha pumpkin slices in. So I just added some cilantro, the pumpkin themselves add a lot of flavor to the broth and it really is a beautiful way to enjoy kombucha pumpkins, to eat something light that's not gonna overburden your digestive system. And it's a wonderful soup on a chilly day or if you happen to feel a little bit under the weather. Here I have a little bit of coconut oil. Virgin coconut oil has a tropical coconut smell and flavor to it, which is a very interesting addition to any dish you add it to. I highly recommend that you look for the extra virgin coconut oil because the regular filtered coconut oil doesn't have that tropical flavor. And I wanted to point out that these kabocha pumpkin slices are direct from the freezer to the pan. There is no defrosting necessary. For those of us who are busy, working, taking care of children during the day, a lot of us just don't have time to remember an extra thing, such as defrosting something in the fridge or defrosting something in time for um, meal time. So I just wanted to point out that particular um, detail because this dish is super, super easy. So I'm just chopping up some garlic and tomatoes and cilantro. I love cilantro for its fresh, herbaceous flavor. If you're someone who doesn't enjoy that flavor, go ahead and use a different herb, like thyme, Thai basil, green onions, anything you like. I ended up using a total of three Roma tomatoes, and I love tomatoes because it always creates a sauce it gives a dish liquid. The sound of the pumpkin slices frying in the coconut oil, it tells me that we're gonna get a really beautiful brown crisp skin on that pumpkin. Those brown edges is an indication of caramelization it signals to me that we're going to have extra flavor in this stir-fry dish. Kombucha pumpkins have a decently high sugar content, so it's going to taste so, so delicious in this meal. I like to add the tomatoes and onions and all the other savory flavors to balance that sugary flavor. So I'm adding salt. I'm adding pepper. I'm adding my favorite seasonings. Once the kabocha pumpkins have been flipped and have cooked a decent amount of time on both sides, I add my mushrooms. They don't take too long to cook if your goal is to keep them on the al dente side. We're adding a bit of cracked pepper, freshly cracked pepper. and fish sauce. Fish sauce is a staple in my house. I have bottles and bottles of it, just in case, because I never want to run out. When you see me mixing the kabocha pumpkin slices, you can tell it's really soft, and it's gonna be creamy and delicious. I cooked this dish mainly on medium heat, and I kept an eye on it. And in the last seconds of cooking, I add my cilantro. I like to keep it vibrant cream, so I add it at the very end. If you add it too early, it tends to turn brown, but it still gives that beautiful ruby flavor if you happen to just wanna drop it in earlier on in the cooking process. So there you have it, a beautiful, easy pumpkin stir fry dish. I hope you enjoyed my version of kombucha pumpkin soup. If you try making it for your family and friends, 
Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Suella. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Swellies.